everyone! I decided to kind of keep you updated on my Japan journal. Uh, I'll talk about this in a second. <laughs> it's distracting me. <laughs> um, to keep you updated with, I guess, just kind of these uh, share videos because I feel when I switch on the camera, it's it's just, it's too boring. There's not a lot going on here. It's for the most part, it's like gluing things down and arranging things and it takes forever, it seems to me. And then even if I fast forward, forward it like four times faster, it's still really boring to watch in my opinion. <laughs> I'm sorry if you think it's um, it's not boring. I mean, that obviously makes me happy that uh, to be wrong in that sense. But yeah, I just thought it would be easier to show you um, what I'm doing. So if you don't know, this is very much inspired and kind of relies on James Burke's new course, Memory to Memento, which is really fantastic. There is an affiliate link below and, you know, if you want to use it, that's great. I would really appreciate it. Uh, or you can just check out his course uh, on your own. And I, I'm slowly watching through it. If you know James's courses, you know they are massive. So there's a lot to watch, but there are so many ideas. And the way I like to use it is just use it kind of as inspiration and take some of these concepts and just, you know, run with them. So some I used very similarly to the way he shows and then others just, I don't know, it just evolved into something. So I want to show you what I have till now. I made a video showing how I did the cover, but I think uh, since then I added this um, cute thing, which actually came in a sticky kit. Uh, it's a... Um, sticker subscription club. It's really, really good. I'm actually looking forward to getting the April pop kit I ordered. It's the Tokyo Nights, which will be perfect to add to my journal. So this actually also came in a previous kit of theirs. And then these cute stickers that are um, dimensional I bought in Tokyo. The back is still kind of a work in progress, but I'm really okay with it. Right now I really feel that I'm more, because it's very hard for me to focus, I'm just kind of printing my photos and arranging the pages and I haven't added a lot of journaling for now. Uh, I feel that will come later and I have a lot of like these cute, uh, I'll show you, like these cute um, paper packs that I bought. So I can really just, I thought I would just add it throughout, write my journaling on this and, you know, when I'm in the mood. So I'll just, I'll show you what I have till now and kind of talk you through the interactive elements. The two pages, so this is the front. I added this beautiful sticker and some washi. All of these are from Japan. This was part of the original intention for this uh, journal, which was a Daniel Donaldson watercolor class. So it was kind of alphabet themed kind of thing. And at first I thought maybe I would go for something like that to document the trip, but then I decided to just go more chronologically. And I'm still not sure how I will use these. If you have any good ideas, uh, besides just covering it up, which I might end up just doing that with, I thought with just like two photo collages or something. Uh, so if you have any good ideas, let me know. And then this was A for art supplies. And it's really, really cute. But I don't know if it's really fitting. I mean, I could talk about the art supplies that I bought, but yeah, I don't know. So we'll see. Uh, this, at the beginning I went with the alphabet theme, so I had B here behind my photo. So I thought I would make it by all means, and I was just like talking about how I got to Japan, which was driving with my car to the bus, then taking the bus to the Vienna airport, then taking a plane to Tokyo, and then, uh, you know, we took the uh, underground train in Tokyo. But this was the page. It was inspired by one of James's 
spreads with watercoloring the background and then adding these clouds and the journaling in it and I also added some photos I really really enjoy uh, fussy cutting my photos and so this is the airplane this is you know coffee cup obviously and that's me at the bus station so this was kind of the first leg of this trip and yeah and just some stickers that I have. I really plan on dumping all my <laughs> travel sticker and a lot of the stuff that I bought in Japan in this journal um, because I really want to use it and really there's no... it doesn't get any better than this journal documenting this fantastic amazing trip. So um, yeah, I'm really, really happy. This is so, you know, scrapbooking in the 90s. <laughs> I love um, doing this. And uh, so a lot of the pages here are not really finished. I'll just add stuff as I go. This is a little envelope. And I covered the background with all kinds of like receipts and stuff. And then added some photos from the first day. So it was kind of, you know, jet lagged, first impression. And so this is the brochure from Ginza Itoya, which is, it's, it was so funny. So I went there with my friend Megan, who's, who was living at the time in Tokyo for, or outside of Tokyo for a few years. And that's where she took me. Like our hotel was around the corner from this place, you know, we came there from the airport and that's where she took me. There are two buildings. The first one has, you see like, I don't know, 12 floors. <laughs> and then the second one has, um, where is it? Um, six floors. <laughs> it was insane. Of course we bought stuff. I was like jet lagged, super tired. We didn't check into our room yet. And you know, so like, plain dirt <laughs> kind of thing <laughs> and she took me there and I was like in wonderland and half falling apart so it was kind of amazing and a little bit cruel <laughs> but this was a, a very like a recurring theme in this trip where we would be like you know going in Tokyo the shops have some shops have like eight levels and we didn't take a lot of elevators, so we were like, okay, we could go eat or we can just climb another five floors and look through crazy, crazy shops. So yeah, uh, another thing that I was inspired by James is I pulled out some of my very, very neglected acrylic pens um, or, you know, markers. These are perfect for this project, as he shows, because they pretty much paint on everything. And a lot of these surfaces here are sleek. And um, yeah, my go-to is watercolors, but it doesn't really work with the materials here. I mean, I have the journal itself that has watercolor paper, which makes me happy because in theory, you know, I can do more of this, but I also have so many photos and ephemera and stuff. So it's, I don't know how much I'll take advantage of the fact that it's watercolor paper. Anyway, so just adding bits and pieces, papers, I'll add more journaling as I go, maybe more photos to cover this. Um, here I added my journaling. This was actually, I typed it on my typewriter. So that's another nice thing that I can do if I add my journaling on, you know, these kind of papers where it's not directly in the journal. That means I can use my typewriter, which I enjoy sometimes. So it just depends on the mood. And I think I will just include some of these envelopes and then using a lot of the packaging it's and brochures that we just picked up it's really really great to use those things up in the journal here i made a pocket which is also something he talks about in the class and some um yeah again this is like packaging of stickers and stuff uh this was we slept in a capsule hotel in Kyoto for one night, which I really, really wanted to do. And I was super excited about it. So I need to add journaling. This was one of the shops in the market in Kyoto. And I just, I think this picture is beautiful. Uh, so I really wanted to do a whole page. Uh, then here it's another like interactive element. 
that I was um, inspired to create by James's class. It's really, really fun. I have to add like more stuff inside. You can see and decorate and everything. Uh, this was just a map of Kyoto that I'm tearing apart and using um, as backgrounds and also in other ways, which I'll show you soon. Again, receipts, <laughs> the Disney store. This is some photos um, that I took and fussy cut. So this was like a big photo. This was on one side and then this row of trees was another part of the photo and I just fussy cut it and um, glued it on top of this collage of receipts. So really, really fun way of using it. This is a brochure from this beautiful golden temple in Kyoto. And then I'm just adding a lot of these uh, interactive elements into it. So again, using packaging. And here we have this little thing that opens with more photos and adding some, I love tabs, adding some tabs where possible and photos. Oh, and then this is like one of the um, lessons. So it's like this domino flip type of element. And I made it with these uh, Instax, like Instax, <laughs> Instax minis. I took with me an uh, Instax camera, uh, actually by Lomo, not by Fuji. And uh, Megan had these Fantastic. Matana. Let's Matana. No, uh, no. I can. Okay. So these are some photos from this uh, temple and then from Kyoto. And I'll probably add something here on the back, like maybe some journaling. And uh, this was, this is some artwork from uh, Yuko Higuchi, I think her name is. I forget it right now, but I thought it was just so perfect because that's like Megan and me. <laughs> that's what we want to be. <laughs> I just thought it was the cutest. And yeah, that's where I'm at. I have, the, I think the next page will be dedicated to... Um, this place that I forget right now how it's called, but it has these Tori, are they called the Tori um, arches? Like these beautiful temple with the orange arches. So I have some photos from that. I think that'll be the next page. Uh, maybe I have it here where somewhere I ripped the piece of the map that had the icon for them, probably misplaced it somewhere. Maybe it's this one. Yeah, here. There it is. Fushimi Inari Taisha Shrine. Right? I guess. It's this place with these famous um, gates. It's beautiful. It's so, so beautiful. So I have some photos from that. And, oh, I have also this photo that I have to attach somewhere. Oh, and this was, I was very happy with myself. Um, so this is what I mean by kind of taking inspiration from a course and just running with it. So I printed this on this um, thin watercolor paper that I have. I printed a few photos in black and white and then I colored them. Now I have an Epson printer and I think the ink is like pigment ink so it doesn't smear with uh, watercolor when you add on top of it. You would have to check that if you want to try something similar. So I, I printed these in black and white and then I added watercolor. This one turned uh, okay. It's like interesting. I think I might include it. This one was a bust. I don't like how it turned out. I tried to add gold paint because it's like this golden shrine, but uh, the paint is too opaque, even though it's watercolor. So yeah, disaster, but I tried. And then this, <laughs> I love this. So I colored this with watercolor markers that actually received these for Christmas and haven't had a chance to play with them yet. So these are by Faber-Castell and yeah, they're watercolor markers. 
I think they're nice for sketching and stuff. I don't think they move as well, you know, as just like using watercolors, but they were really perfect for this element. And then after I colored them, I added some detail with pen and black pen, white pen and acrylic marker around my friend. And I'm super happy about how this turned out. I'm so excited. This is like so me and I, I couldn't have reached this point without James's course. So yeah, and that's it. That's where I'm at, kind of not even midway because this was day two and three of the trip. Well, almost midpoint. And yeah, if you hear in the background, that's <laughs> Lily talking through WhatsApp with my mom and they're singing Passover songs. So today is the seda, which is, you know, the Passover meal. And yeah, and we're gonna kind of have it all online because my parents were supposed to come here, but because of Corona, they can't. So interesting time. I'm sorry about the noise in the background. It was my intention. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am really loving working in this. And for me, kind of compartmentalizing like that really works because I'm just in a different state of mind Sometimes I just want to glue stuff down and then I'll probably do the journaling later when I can concentrate more and think about things. And I definitely plan on using uh, James's prompts. Um, so, you know, I have a lot of things are like already in my head, but this is just a really nice way of focusing and adding journaling. Uh, maybe if you don't necessarily have something to write exactly on this temple or garden that we visited um, so I can use the prompts for some assistance and yeah that's it I'm really really excited I'm excited to go back in and add more stickers and tabs and cute things and this is just coming together so much fun I'm really enjoying so I wish you a happy Easter or Passover or whatever you're celebrating this time Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!